I've done a bunch of videos with AI, but in this video, I wanna show you what you can do with those AI designs. I'm gonna show you five different ways to use Kittle and masking to take those AI designs and make them into t-shirts. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to show you what you can do with these AI designs. Now, I've done a bunch of videos with them. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Kittle, and you don't have to use Kittle, but Kittle just makes it so easy to use masks, and they also have an AI feature there. But if you don't wanna use Kittle, you can download AI designs from any platform that I talked about, and then do this in uh, Photo P or Affinity Designer. Um, any Adobe products, whatever you want. You can just use these same techniques, but I'm just gonna show you in Kittle how to do it. So these five are gonna get progressively harder. I'm gonna show you a very simple technique at first, and then the last one, the fifth one, is gonna be the hardest one, which isn't very hard to do on Kittle if you follow these instructions, but they're gonna look like they're really hard to do. So let's get into Kittle right now, and I'll show you all the different five techniques. All right, so here we are on Kittle, kittle.com, and you look, the have some really cool stuff on here. It keeps changing every week. So if you haven't been on Kittle lately, come by here and you can see all the new templates. You can use any one of these, but today we're gonna do uh, a special thing with AI. So I'm gonna come in here and do new project. And we're just gonna do this the right size. Let's do 4,500 with 5,400 height. And that's gonna be a tall one and hit create. All right. So the first thing we wanna do is use their AI feature and that's right here, Kiddo AI. Now you can do whatever you want on here. I'm gonna do something super simple. I'm just gonna do an outdoor scene just to keep it simple. So um, we can use any one of these styles here and let's just do, I, I like to do something more, maybe art deco, okay? And I'm gonna describe what I want here. I'm gonna do an outdoor, scenery with mountains pine trees and a sunset all right let's see what happens i've already done one but i want to see what happens when i do this again so you can see thinking about it now it's going to do a Pretty cool style, hopefully some fun colors and things like that, but it's gonna take a minute. You can see it does like this. So this art deco style right here, right? Now I've already done one um, with kind of the same prompts, but let me show you where you can find the ones that you've already done. So you can see if you go to uploads, you'll notice that one is done right here. I've tried out some other uploads, which is really cool. I'm gonna to have to show you that with this new image vectorizer for another video. Um, but I did this one that I really like. I'm gonna pull it up here. All right, so this one right here, we're gonna do the very first style and I'm calling it the AI sandwich because we're just gonna do uh, text on here and text on the bottom. Let me show you exactly how to do it. So background, I'm gonna do black, boom, which already looks nice. And then I'm gonna take some text here and you can pick any one of these texts. I'm gonna click here. You can see that we've got some nice ones right here. And I think I like this dark forest since it's kind of a forest. I'm gonna make it white so we can see it. And I'm gonna ungroup it. So you can just hit right click and hit ungroup or command G. And I only want the top one so gonna double click here and we're just gonna do a two words. So explore um, and uh, outdoors. Let's just do that. So hold down option, click here and drag and you can see I just copied it right here. So one nice thing about this is you can just drag this and make it as big as you want, right? And another nice thing about this is you can use glyphs here. So let's try this, uh, maybe this L here. If I do glyphs, I can look for a, a fancy L. Like I could use that L, which is kind of neat, but uh, let's not do that one. Let's do a smaller one. I believe they have it down here, this L. That's kind of cool. 
or this hill. Yeah, that little smaller one. Explore, isn't that cool? And then we'll just kind of hover it above here. Maybe make this a little smaller to match. Explore there. And this will be outdoors. So just type in outdoors. And again, you can do whatever um, glyph you want. So if you want to put another glyph on here, maybe you want to do the T in this one, you know, do that. Come in here, look for a T down here. There's a cool T right there. Whoops, I put it in the wrong one. That's, uh, we can highlight it, copy it, or exit out and put it here in this place. There we go. Isn't that cool? And then we can make this just, and the reason why I do that is we want to give it just a little bit more uh, something, you know, make it eye catching, make it something that people are looking for. Now it's, you want to make something that catches people's eye, right? So you can see right here, super easy. Uh, this is one of the easiest techniques is to just take your AI and then, you know, sandwich it in between two, two fonts. Uh, two words, two or three words. You can put two words up here, you can put two words down here, but I'm using some of these glyphs here to kind of um, make it special, right? Make it stand out. So idea one, super easy. We did it real, really quick. So idea number two, we're gonna start using masks now. So we're, let's come in here, um, go to elements, and you can see all the masks here. See all of them. I can use any one of these. I'm gonna use something special. I'm gonna use a bear since it's outdoor. So well, let's open this up here so we can see all of them. I could use a butterfly, I could use a hawk or whatever, right? I'm gonna use a bear. Now that I've added that, I'm gonna close this. You can see the bear's right there. So I'm gonna make it big, take this and drag it into the bear. Now you can see that's really cool right now. Sometimes it doesn't outline. So you can see here is group colors. I'm gonna take that out and just say nothing right there. And there you go. Super simple. Uh, you may have seen this technique with like fish or deer or whatever. You can do this with a bear if it's outdoors, like relate it to what you have in here. So if it's a city thing, you may not want to use a bear, but this is outdoors. So I'm using a bear. And then you can come back here and do text again. I'm going to use these titles here and we're going to use the same words, explore outdoors, but we're going to maybe use this one right here. And I'm going to make this white. You can see how easy it is with Kittle to do this right here. So I'm going to type this explore and do this outdoors. Boom. Oh, it needs to be bigger. And we don't need this. Say I'm going to double click on it so you can move it. Cool, just like that. Easy number two, so very simple. Just find a mask that you like, a, a random one, uh, to match whatever you have in here. Um, of course, mind matching outdoors, and then use one of these titles. Boom, super simple. All right, so for the third style I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna call this the AI Sandwich Deluxe. So this is why I'm gonna call it Deluxe. We're not just gonna use the shape right here, the basic square shape, we're gonna mask it first. So let's go back in here and mask it. I'm going to pick one of these masks, open it up, and you can pick any one of these. So if you pick one of these, you're going to have to fill it in differently. So uh, if it's a square, then you can do what we did. But if it's rounded at the top, we're going to round the text. If it's uh, this one, we're going to have to do a text in a different way. Let me show you what I mean. So I added that. I'll go back. I'll close this. We're going to fill this in here and make this bigger. And then we're going to do a text where it's straight on top, but on the bottom, it's going to have this diagonal, right? So let's just do explore for now. I'm going to do text, um, hit T right here. Uh, I want to do it in the bungee style. Here we go, bungee. And then we're going to do, um, and you can do whatever style you want, but I'm going to try something different here. We're going to make this bigger. So let's do that. And big like this, grab the corners. All right. Okay. 
So let's just do distort here. And we can grab this down like that. Bring this one down like that. And I can bring these in to make it like a corner. Oh, and of course we can change the text. So let's move this down like that. I'm gonna stop and double click on it and say this is explore. Good. And then we're gonna do the same thing for outdoors right here. Let me show you that. I'm gonna work on that on the side and then come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the finished project, the IA Sandwich Deluxe. You can see straight on top, but curved to match the masking here and kind of curved right here or diagonal, I guess, right here, and then straight on the bottom. So it's still that sandwich idea, but this time we have a little more interest where we're kind of following the lines of the mask. So this next technique is a little bit harder and this is the multi mask technique. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna put, instead of one mask, we're gonna use multiple masks. Now you can use as many as you want, but I'm gonna use uh, three or four. So let me show you what I mean. I'll go in here into elements again, hit mask. And then I'm gonna use a tall skinny one. So let me see, I know I've seen one here, this one right here and I'll close this. Okay, so we have this one and I'm gonna do multiple. So I'm gonna hold down option, click on this and drag. So you can see one, two, three and four. Great, now I'm gonna make this mask as tall as these, right there, or maybe a little taller. And I'm gonna drag these masks into each of these individually, but I'm gonna need four of them. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hold down option again and drag these, so I have four of these. One, two, three, four, you see that? One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna drag the first one into this one. Then I'm gonna drag the second one into this one the third one into the third, and the fourth into the fourth. Now again, you can see they all kind of centered by default, but we're gonna move them now. So I'm gonna double click on here and move this to the very end, right there. And I can move this too now. So I'm gonna move this to right here. And then I'm gonna double click on this one and then move it so that it looks like it matches. So I think that one matches there. You can see where the lines kind of come together. Good. Doesn't have to be totally perfect because there's gonna be some missing space in there so your eye's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So we have the cloud or the sun here, right? And something like that. Great. And then this last one will have to be all the way to the end here. Cool, right? So now we can move these up and down. Isn't that cool? So let's double click on this. I'll just make sure everything's in the right alignment and you can even kind of stagger them. So one nice thing you could do is maybe move that one up and this one down, up and down, just to give it some interest again, right? Now you can take the whole thing here and you know type in your text again, kind of like that sandwich idea. So. Let's do explore more. I'm gonna do uh, text or just hit T here. Make sure this is white or a light color. I'm gonna make it bigger. And then I'm just gonna type in explore. And then we can use a, a different font. So let's come in here. What's a fun one here? Uh, this one could be a fun one. It is kind of hard to read though. Let's try a different one. Oh, this box pot seems interesting. Let's see what that looks like. Explore, oh, that's fun. Explore outdoors, right? Oh, there's two kinds of O. I'm gonna do a capital O there. That's a fun one. And then we can make this smaller if we want. Just group all of those, group, 
Command G and then make sure that it fits. Play around with that. Now again, you can move these up and down, ungroup it, and you know, kind of fit the space. So if the E is coming down this way, maybe move that there and move this here, and you have the freedom to move these around kind of just to give it some space. Isn't that cool? So this is the multi-mask technique. Have fun with this. So this last technique I'm calling letter masking, and we're gonna do these the same thing that we did with the last one, but instead of shapes, we're gonna use letters. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna go to mask again and show all. Let me show, pick the letters that I need. So I'm gonna do just out, O right here, um, U and T, where are you? T right here. All right, so I'm gonna close this. You can see O U T is right there. And let's just make sure that they're big enough. I'm gonna, they're all the same size right here. But if I hold down shift and click all of these, I want them to be, you know, about that size. So there you go. And again, we're gonna have to make three of these, whoops. So hold down option and drag and drag. So we're gonna do that in there and in there, right? So you can see they all kind of look like they centered again. So I'm gonna to have to double click on here and move this one to the edge like that and double click on this one and move this one so that it's not to the edge. And double click on this one and move it all the way to the end here. So kind of like that, right? And then the nice thing about this is there's also a font out here that looks exactly like this. So let's um, type a text here. I'm gonna go T uh, and drag this. Uh, let's make it white so we can see it. And make it bigger. Now the font you wanna use here uh, so that you can give this an outline and background is you come in here and it is not bungee. It's Anton, right? So let's go O, capital O. You can see it's the exact same one here, hopefully. Maybe I used a zero instead of an O. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, check that out. All right, so now that we have this here, we'll do the same thing for U and T. I'm holding down Option Shift double click caps lock U and we'll do this one caps lock T. All right, so you wanna put them in the right place. So let's overlay them right here and this right here. So the nice thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a shadow. So come in here and do the letter effects. This is really cool. So you can see I can move the shadow at an angle like this and I can make it offset as much as I want. So it could come out all the way down like that, which is cool, but we're just gonna do it like that. And then we also wanna do a, a width outside. So you can see right here, it's coming out. And so we're gonna do that the same thing. We're gonna do it easy. So let's do uh, 13, well, let's do this minus 50 so we can remember to do the same thing And then 85 is good, so maybe 15. Yeah, 15, 50, 85, all right? So let's do the same thing here. Um, text effects, 15, negative 50, and what do we say, 85, right? Same one here, 15, negative 50, whoops, and 85. Cool, right? So let's take all of this here, move it down here. Now we're gonna have to move these to the back. So right click, move to back, send to back. Click on that one, right click, send to back. Check that out, pretty cool, right? Now we can adjust too, so we can move the letter so that it, you know, 
so like that. And we can also change this to be white. So um, I'm going to move myself here so you can see the layers and I can change the colors. So if I go to layers and you can see the O and T, those are in the background now, but I can click on it. And if I want to change the color to white, all right, cool. Now I'm going to play around with the colors and add some text up here. We're going to do explore and outdoors or doors now because we have out. So it's going to be explore out and doors. Uh, and I'll show you what it looks like. So here you go. I changed the colors up a little bit. I made the background a lighter color, which I got from the sun here. Just use the uh, eyedropper tool. Use the bungee font here. I'm using the same color that we found here in the dark. So you can see it kind of blends into the darkness here and then doors right here. So really easy to do. Now this is a fun one that not a lot of people will do because it takes a lot of time, but you can see it has a lot going on here and it's something that really stands out now because we're using that image inside of letters. You may have seen this for like posters for uh, different places, but this is an easy way to do it. And you can see Kittle handles it all with the drop shadow, with the masking and just nice font. So have fun with this one. This is by far my favorite technique. I'm gonna try and do more and more of these. Again, you don't have to use Kittle, but Kittle just makes it really easy to do it. Uh, you could do this in other programs too. It just may take you a little bit longer. So have fun with these uh, five. I'm gonna put these five right here again so you can see it. Go back and watch this and try it out for yourself and hopefully make some really cool stuff. I'm gonna put these in Kittle so you can have them uh, just look out for these. I'm going to put them in there, uh, look around and you can try any one of these techniques. Of course, change out the words and stuff and your AI file. So there you go. Those are my five techniques for AI. Now there's lots of techniques that you can use with AI files, but I thought I'd just give you some five different ones. Uh, I think a lot of people create AI designs and just don't know what to do with them. So here's some help for you. Uh, if you can do outdoor stuff, you can do scenery, you can do whatever with these, I think it would, it would work for almost any kind of AI design that you put like in a tall thing. So these are not for stickers. These are for like full designs, right? So if you want to learn more about Kittle and the different things you can do with Kittle, I have this Kittle playlist. I've done a lot of videos, so you can click on this playlist and watch a lot of different things for Kittle. It's just a really powerful program. So if you want to use it for print on demand, uh, you're going to have to pick one of the options, but you can definitely try it out for free. Try out all the templates, see if you like it, see if it works for you. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.